Good damn Batman and The Walking Dead still fucking sucks. It's, it's that time of year again. Time to sacrifice a pumpkin to our Lord and Savior Satan. Unfortunately, I'm out of pumpkins. So I'm gonna be carving this potato. This show isn't fun. Why is it still around? Like, just look at the first episode. There are so many problems. God, this is a little gross. The show starts off with some irrelevant scenes that lead into Rick waking up in a cliched environment and stumbling around until he gets popped by a brother. Most of that didn't really need to happen. I've been around since the 90s. I've been watching zombie stuff my whole life. I'm very aware of how this environment works. Didn't need to waste all this time establishing stuff that wasn't original. Let's see if I can do this. Oh, fuck. I already, I, I already botched it. Neither of the protagonists in this episode have very original backstories. Both of them are just straight up I Am Legend. Very Richard Matheson. And I've seen that done so many times. It is astounding that they would have dropped, they would have stooped to that. I wrap this one in duct tape to make it harder to botch. Then the show wastes more time by developing how it, Rick interacts with these characters. This is pretty much the only relevant character development Rick gets in this episode. And then the development the black guys get, that's pretty much irrelevant. They're gone after the end. I think that's about as hollow as it's gonna get. The set of scenes ends pretty anticlimactically with Rick killing one of his old cop friends you never really see developed and those don't really care about. He does walk away with a lot of guns, though. That makes him seem pretty threatening and badass. Try not to cut myself. Next scene, the black guy has to shoot his zombie wife, which is completely fine. A little unoriginal, but I'll accept that scene. What I won't accept is what Rick has to do. Rick goes back and finds the legless zombie that he saw almost immediately after getting out of the hospital and kills it, which I guess is supposed to show that Rick has become accepting of this new world or something like that or that this is his new life I don't know what the fuck it means it's stupid because it's not the first zombie he killed the first zombie he killed was his cop buddy which like I can't imagine that was in the comic I never read the comics but that is that was pretty dumb like who cared about that guy I'm sure this will appease Satan he likes horrible stuff like this. And the next 20 minutes or so, as Rick dealing with his environment, he runs out of gas, he gets a horse, there's some epic imagery, and there's some new characters you don't give a shit about. But then in about five minutes, it undoes almost all of that. He gets his weapons taken away, his horse dies, he ends up trapped in a tank with a zombie he just killed, and the last line is super anticlimactic. It's a character you've never seen before, basically guaranteeing to the viewer that Rick is going to be fine, and there are no fucking witches in this series. How can you have this fucking series without witches? Witches would make this so much better. It would give you a reason why the zombies existed. It would give you something to care about besides the zombies. Because who fucking cares about these zombies? They don't do shit. It would give less screen time to the stupid drama nobody cares about. And, uh... Witches are fucking spooky. What more do you need? See you later.